Hello Abacus user. Welcome to Abacus Acumen for quick and sound learning. Uh, today's session we are going to do on uh, contact tutorials. A uh, lot of uh, subscriber and viewer has mentioned that they want uh, more information on the contact. So this particular tutorial is very simple tutorial, very basic tutorial. In this we are going to do a three point bend test and very specifically a flat plate 150 by 40 millimeter 4 millimeter thick and uh, a, a cylindrical applicator which is applying force so both are shell one is deformable one is we assume rigid because because of its high stiffness and we are going to learn what specific information we need to do this type of problem is if you want to do a contact simulation what information we need and during uh, uh, when the two shell elements are in contact what particular care has to take to solve this problem successfully so we are going to solve this problem so let's go to drawing board and understand what we are going to do we are going to do a three point bend test so a cylindrical applicator and then flat plate it's going to apply the load and put a plate in bending Applicator is uh, diameter is 10 millimeter and length is 50 millimeter. Plate is 150 millimeter, 40 millimeter, and 4 millimeter. Units we are going to use is a SI unit, turn, newton, millimeter, and second. Very specific to this contact, we are going to use a finite contact. So we'll have a finite contact. So when you define a contact, you want a master surface and then you want a slave surface we'll do some problem on the small sliding right now we'll do a, a finite sliding with surface to surface contact so requirement is you should have a master surface and uh, the, the slave surface so two master and the slave surface and then then you want uh, the typical uh, property for the contact is a friction so that particular friction is here which we are going to assume as a point through point two as a friction so zero is a frictionless surface one is sticking surface so we are somewhere is here it's around point two if it is a point five so we are going to use point two as a friction when we have to select master and slave we have to check a uh, shell normal so shell normals are very important to solve this type of problem so we are going to learn how to select a right shell normal once you select the right shell normal it will take contact in case you are not selected the right shell normal the contacts may not take place typically selection for the master and slave for the master surface surface the the component between the two contacting body whichever is the rigid it should assign as a master and which is a soft it has to be assigned the slave other is a finer mesh should be assigned as a slave and coarse mesh has to be assigned as a master and other parameter for master is whatever going to apply the load that should be the master and which is going to transmit the load to the other body that should be the slave so these are the typical uh, no, uh, typical uh, properties or care we have to take when you solve the contact problem and uh, we are going to use a linear elastic motor property so typical steel uh, steel property we are going to use and then we are going to solve this problem in abacus standard now uh, the other things what i mentioned forgot to mention we are going to displace this by 5 millimeter and uh, we are going to have fixed fixed condition so you can have different condition you can have whatever simply supported but we are going to take a fixed fixed condition this is we are going to do uh, we are going to we are not going to exclude the shell thickness so we are going to include the the shell thickness in case we have to exclude you have to click this button and then we have to maintain a sufficient gap between the two contacting body because we are going to uh, include the shell thickness in this this particular problem so let's let's start we'll start doing this problem mm. so let me go and say new and then let me select the right 
working directory so let me set the working directory typically it is a c temp but you select the right working directory so whenever you submit a run it will go results will go there so first we'll create a plate deformable we are going to have a shell plate and it's a 150 by 40 so i'm going to say planar and then i'll say say 300 will be enough for me so i'll quickly put a first coordinate 0 comma 0 and then i'll put um minus 75 x so this will go here and then minus 20 so i got uh, let me check minus 75 comma 20 and then I'll put a fit and then 75 comma minus 20 so I'm just looking for the two corner points I should have I have one corner point and then I just need another corner point it's here so if I take uh, this rectangular and then then click to the two corner points so that create my plate let's check the dimension this should be 150 which is fine and this should be 40 this is also fine so I'm done with my plate now I want to do one more thing I want to cut this plate in center because then when I select a slave contact I don't want to select the whole surface then the contact algorithm will search master pro node penetration in the slave for everything so I need to cut this plate so I'm going to cut this with a uh, uh, datum plane so I'll have first datum plane is like YZ and I'll say 45 and then I'll say YZ and I'll say 105 so I created the two datum plane So one is 45 and then, then I'll create one more YZ and then I'll say 105 where it is selecting oh it's creating here so I don't want there I just want I want here somewhere here so I'll say minus 45 okay so I have one at 45 and one at minus 45 so that way I can cut the surface uh, so let's cut the surface face will cut with the data plane will select so we cut here and then we'll select this and this so uh, we create this so this will be easy for us to select the right we don't want that much element so we'll cut here now we'll give a property uh, create steel it's a steel plate and then we'll give elastic we can do elastoplastic also but this is just tutorial so we'll have elastic property and then we'll create shell thickness 4 4.0 we'll dismiss it and then we'll create we'll select this everything and then we'll assign to 4 millimeter thick so this is a plate is we have done the plate now let's create uh, applicator now applicator is discrete rigid its shell we are going to use extrusion so we are going to have first point 0 comma 0 and then we'll draw a circle there so we'll draw a circle and then we'll fix the dimension as a 5 millimeter radius 
and then we are going to extrude these by 50 millimeter depth now this is extruded now important thing because since it is rigid we have to have a assign a reference point so we are going to assign a reference point in a center so that's what we are done we don't have to create a thickness or motor property it's a rigid so we created that now we quickly create a assembly dependent assembly so we are done that now only thing what we need now is to rotate the cylinder so if we rotate a cylinder about y axis so we'll say rotate about y uh, x axis so uh, so this is x axis so about this point about this point if you rotate so this and then 1 comma 0 comma 0 and then we'll say 90 degree rotate so we've done a rotation now we quickly move this by 25 millimeter in y and then we'll move this by another 5 millimeter then it says 0 comma 0 comma 5 now this is exactly in a touching position so if you um, let me we'll select uh, we'll also select from toolbar views so we can quickly put in some particular view and then we'll select it. so this is in touching position but since this plate we are going to assign thickness of 4 millimeter so it is going to have a, a contact thickness 2 millimeter up so this may create a penetration so we need to move this by up by another 2 millimeters so now this is in perfect contact contact position now we created assembly will create a step and since this is a contact problem we'll say bending nl jump will put on and then we'll start applying at a very slow rate 0 0.01 will ap start applying if you want to converge the contact problem start with a very small increment in incremental load then we'll have interaction now in interaction first you have to define a contact property <coughs> so normal behavior and then tangential behavior will have penalty based friction coefficient 0.2 and i'll also cut this cut this in half so let me go back to applicator and then I'll also create one XC plane in center and then also I'll trim this cut so let me go to interaction now now I'll define surface to surface contact then the first thing is it's asking what is a master so this is my master bottom half I taken as master now it is asking now this is important guys this is important choose a side of shell or internal face brown or purple now now brown is s pause it's outside surface and the inside surface is a purple so you have to we want the outer surface get in contact with the the plate so we'll select brown and then uh, choose the slave surface so surface will say and this is what and this also brown is a top is a brown and purple is down so we'll select that and this we are not going to exclude this in case you exclude this then you put it in a touching position now we are done that now we'll put a load we'll have boundary condition will be you can have initial boundary condition or you can have inside the step so the the extreme edges will have a 
end caster condition so we have end caster condition there and then we'll have another boundary condition on reference point where it will be constrained in all except u3 and u3 we are going to push by minus 5 5 millimeters so we are going to pull it down by 5 millimeters so that we are done we are going to do meshing meshing we are not going to do will not able to do in assembly we have to do in part and this one is r3 d3 so it's a rigid thing and then we'll put select a right algorithm is called middle axis and then we are going to mesh with uh, 2.5 we'll still put a fine mesh this is too coarse we'll put at least two plate is going to be uh, shell s4 r so standard and it is s4 r we will also select the similar algorithm for the mesh so chord middle axis and then we'll put size is like a 1.5 we want to have fine mesh to get a contact so we done that so we done everything now we'll quickly create file i'll save as um, three point bend and then we'll define a job for this three point bend We'll first, do, first we'll do a data check whether everything is fine with this. We'll just wait for a couple of minutes to get a data check done. Once data check done is the done. Data check is generally done for if there is any preprocessor related issue. So it's already submitted. We'll check if there is a pre So everything is fine. So input file completed successfully. So there is no issue with the data check. So successfully completed. So there is no preprocessor related issue. Now we can submit the run and then just wait for the results or we can just by the time results are going on we can quickly go and check how the input file looks like so this is INP I generally check in a text pad so you have applicator first is applicator then node then you have r3d3 rigid element then you have reference point 433 then you have plate which have s4r then shell 4 millimeter thickness then you have plates nodes and then you have this is this is what i am talking s pause and then two surface generation then you have friction property given and then you have these two contact surface surface to surface you are applying minus 5 millimeter so that's all now we'll, we'll check if how the monitor will just monitor so it started it just started uh, converging so let's wait till the we get the results and then we can discuss so now at least it's gone to th three steps so if you check a result now so this is exactly what it looks so it is just just started applying the 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 force since we are included the shell thickness so if you see even though there is a you see us through eyes uh, gap but it actually in contact put in, in in just contact position 
so let's wait for the results and then we can discuss on the results so let's check results now everything got converged it have some initially high severe discontinuation then in between large it's got some severe discontinuation otherwise it is perfectly fine so we will see results now we will see how it looks so this is start bending so look into field output we'll look into contract pressure so the contact so we are not defined the contact here so it show the contact pressure there how the contact pressure is there between the the master and slave since master is rigid there is no contact pressure there so contact pressure you see in the slave and then you can see the others results is like displacement and you can also check the stress level one minus you can check it's too high for this type of 3000 is too high you need to have a plasticity data here so once plasticity data is there you can see a plastic deformation of the part so this was a quick video on how to handle a contact between the shell to shell component so shell to shell how you are going to define the contact that is whole this video is here thanks for watching this video don't forget to like us and subscribe to us and also if possible share this videos with your friends colleagues so if those people in need to learn the abacus they can use this video to build their own abacus knowledge and abacus acumen thank you bye bye